So if I'm trying to sell my SaaS, talk me through the realities of selling right now in 2024. What's, what's the market like? How likely are deals? What's the experience going to be like for me when I go through this? So in 2024, we've seen multiples compress and, and, and decrease since if you look back to 2022, 2023, things have uh, decreased overall. And so when I look at a business today, uh, what I'm trying to figure out is, will this stand out in a buyer's mind? Um, will this feel like a standout business? Because the businesses that are selling right now very easily are the ones that are growing well. They're, they have uh, weathered the storms of the economy well, and um, they are, they're, they're well positioned in terms of uh, some sort of a, a moat, if you will, like some sort of differentiation in the marketplace. I have a really strong, I'm very bullish on those types of businesses. And then the ones that are really struggling, I also see as being um, very sellable because people are looking for deals. So when it's, there's not as much activity um, and people are hurting, it's, it's usually a time for like the bargain buyers to come looking for for businesses that are just burnt out and tired of kind of going through a little bit of a, a rough season. So not all SaaS businesses have been that way. I've talked with other SaaS businesses, some SaaS businesses that have been growing like crazy and others that have kind of plateaued or been declining. Um, but the market as a whole, I would say, has been slower in general to get deals done. Um, I believe a, a lot of this is driven by the cost of capital and like the re the, the higher interest rate environment that we've been in. Um, but I also just think that we had a lot of people that kind of got over their skis by buying a lot of businesses. Um, there were some bankruptcies. There were some things that happened in the industry that kind of made people pump the brakes and, you know, affected all things and affected fundraising, you know, all the investors are telling you to focus on net profit or, you know, profitability and all that kind of stuff for the last couple of years. So today, as it is, I would say things are slower overall, um, but the businesses that are standouts are going to stand out tenfold because um, they're less common. And so what's interesting is, you know, some people ask me, should I sell my business now? Should I wait? And it's like, well, let, let me take a look at the business. Let me see how it stacks up against what I've seen in the market. And if I feel like you've got an edge, then I think you're actually going to get a lot of activity. You're going to get a lot of eyes on this. And a lot of people are very interested because they are looking for investments. They are looking to buy businesses and the ones that are standing out are going to uh, get a lot of attention. Some people call this a bifurcation of the marketplace, but it's really just the standout businesses getting a, a lion's share of the, the attention and then kind of the distressed or, you know, bargain, uh, businesses on the other side, selling very quickly. Anything that's in between plateaued, slightly declining, um, low profitability and really difficult kind of gaining, uh, traction overall, like kind of just in no man's land are very difficult to sell right now. Um, and so that, that, that to me is kind of where the marketplace is. I think as we get through the election, as we get through any times of uncertainty that I think honestly things are going to open up even more uh, going into 2025. So I'm actually pretty optimistic that we're going to see a lot more activity going into 2025.